This is my pack opening where I attempt to pull the 99 Ellie De La Cruz. I'm spending 225,000 stubs on packs today. That is 350 bundles. If we can pull the card, we have doubled our stubs on the video. If we can't, I guess we'll just have to buy him for his debut. So one way or another, we will be debuting this 99 Ellie De La Cruz. If you have anything specifically you want to see from that video, drop it down in the comment section. Maybe we could put him on the all switch hitting team. Maybe we could try to hit a single, double, triple, and homer in one video playing ranked seasons with the card. Any ideas, drop them in the comments. I wish there was a way for me to just do a pack opening on the channel every single day. Just buy one or two 50 bundles for a video in addition to gameplays, right? I don't want to have Oh, wait a minute. This is already starting off pretty good. We're already seeing a diamond. It's a purple, but hey, we're only a few packs in and we're already getting our first diamond of the day. That's got to be a good sign, but I would love to somehow do a pack opening every day in addition to still getting gameplay videos and everything like that. We got a Will Smith, 7,500 stubs for our first diamond of the day. That's better than a lot of the other diamonds or just cards in general. I don't think I've gotten back-to-back -back packs with a diamond in it probably all year. Back-to-back -back purple diamonds, but this has got to be a good sign. I'm hoping this means the rest of the day is going to be great as well. Our second diamond. He used to be worth a lot of stubs. Please tell me he still is. Please, JV. I need you to be worth some stubs. Okay, back-to-back -back 7k stub cards. Now that they fixed the old Call of Duty servers, I want to go back and play some of those old games. That's better than back-to-back -back 3000s. I was hoping we would maybe get three in a row. No, that's kind of crazy, though. I actually feel like I never, ever see myself getting back-to-back -back packs with diamonds. I don't think it's probably happened this year that I can think of. And the only way that I could think of being able to do a pack opening every day would be spending money on stubs every day for packs. That's not something that... I... Wait a minute! That's pretty much a diamond pull right there. Because Chase Packs guarantee a diamond and we just got one extra chance at Ellie. And we still have 141 packs to go. Yo, this could be my best pack opening of the year. This is already off to a pretty good start. Now, I don't really want to spend money on stubs. I never, ever buy stubs. I always make my stubs every year just by playing the games, selling cards. That's one of the reasons I personally am kind of sad that they have so many non-sellable cards this year. Because I used to always like to grind out the BR program as soon as possible. Maybe the event rewind packs as soon as possible and sell those cards for extra stubs by getting it done quickly. But I get... You know, their reasoning, they came out and said that they didn't really want people doing that. That wasn't the way that they wanted people making stubs. And all I heard from that is, hey, we don't want you doing that. We want you giving us money for stubs instead. And, and you know, I'm, I'm half joking when I say that a little bit. I think compared to other companies, at least in my opinion, right? Everyone's going to have their own opinion on stuff. But at least in my opinion, SDS, I'm going to be the show... It is much, much less pay to win compared to other games out there. It is pretty easy to earn a competitive team just by playing the game. Now, I will say compared to previous years of MLB The Show, that's not as much the case. They used to have so many free 99s everywhere. Now a lot of the programs is just 97s. We still do have the 99s in Player of the Month, but I will definitely say that it is more pay to win than previous years which i'm hoping it's not a sign of things to come in terms of that i'm hoping we can start getting some more diamonds keep getting a little bit lucky in this pack opening but they have come out and said right they literally on their all-star break stream said hey we recognize that it hasn't been the traditional grind 99 like it has been in the past and they straight up said that they still want it to be. They want to they wanna fix that. They want to, in the future going forward, have it be more grind 99. But I think that actions speak louder than words when it comes to things like that. I don't even know how I got started. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Another chase pack. This really might be the day that we pull Ellie. Because, like, in my opinion, the whole point of buying a 50 bundle is for the chase pack. You're spending the 75,000 stubs. Yeah, you get the 50 standard packs. But I don't think anyone is out here expecting to pull anything really good out of a standard pack. You could get really, really lucky. See, 
one of the Am I going crazy? Hello? Am I awake? Am I dreaming? We've already gotten three extra chase packs. In a way, it's kind of like we've spent 550,000 stubs because as I was saying, you know, you could get lucky, get one of those high live series diamonds. I guess maybe DeGrom, Mike Trout, Shohei Otani. But even at this point in the year, they're not worth nearly as many stubs. They had that live series pack glitch with one of the all-star packs where it actually gave you a live series diamond choice pack instead or something that drove the prices way down people were getting mike trout for 15,000 stubs and the whole point of buying a 50 bundle in my opinion those 75,000 stubs you're really spending it for that chase pack for the chance to get lucky and get the 550,000 stub 99 ellie de la cruz that chase card and the fact that we've are we still have 95 packs to go we've already gotten three extra chase packs in a way, that's kind of like a bonus 75,000 stubs that we didn't have to spend, but we still acted as though we spent. The game is still thinking we spent it in a way because we got the chase pack. I don't, I don't know how to put the thoughts that I'm having into words right now, but basically, these are each about 75,000 stubs in a way. Now we did, it's not, ooh. I should just sell that, right? I might as well take the thousand stubs. Maybe it was good luck though having uh, having zero stubs in the top left. Maybe now the game's not going to give me as many chase packs. Either way though, we still got 86 packs to go. We still have a lot of chances to get a lot of good luck in the rest of this video. And should I save all the chase packs for the end? I should, man. I really want to. I just, I really would much rather end on all of the chase packs than try to split them up because these standard packs, now they made me pretty happy so far today. And from 150 standard packs, there's been plenty of times where I've seen zero chase packs. And actually, I'm pretty sure I was talking about this in a pack opening earlier in the year. I don't know about anybody else, and I actually saw comments on that video, people agreeing. I'm not seeing as many chase packs out of standard packs this year. Now this... Wait a minute. I should just... I, I'm just going to sell these because I'm not probably going to use them. So I want to take the extra stubs. If I ever want to use them, I'll buy them back. At some point, maybe I want to try to collect everything in the game. All the cards, including equipment, jerseys, nameplates, icons, all that stuff. But... I don't even have every single card in the game, every single player that I want. I don't have Ellie. I don't have Mickey Mantle right now. So I want to have my stubs going towards the actual cards that I can use before I'm... Sp Ooh, 69 packs to go. This is where we get lucky. But as I was saying, I don't really want to have my stubs going towards icons and jerseys and equipment that I'm not really going to be using when I could put those stubs towards cards that I'm hopefully going to be using and getting some use out of. And while we're here, while we're opening the packs, hey, let's get a little bit personal. Let's take a look inside Twins' head, in my mind, what's been going through it. So, a lot of y'all might know we daily upload on the channel. And June 1st of this year was six years of daily uploading in a row. That's since June 1st, 2017. It is now... July, what, 19th, the day I'm recording and uploading this, July 19th, 2023. So over six years later, we're still going strong, still getting at least one video up every single day here on the channel. And how many days ago was June 1st, 2017? What technically is today? Today is day 2,239 in a row. And I don't really know when i see the streak ending i kind of want to go to at least cal ripkins whatever his streak was i want to say it was like 2867 or something i'm not really good with numbers and facts like that off the top of my head sometimes so if you're watching this video maybe someone in the comment section can let me know what his iron man streak was but i want to say it was like high 2000s like 2867 or something that, i don't know why my brain's going to that number we're getting a diamond pull. That's another purple. I think that's our third diamond of the day. But we already have the three extra chase packs too. So that's three bonus diamonds in addition. And those have a chance to be that 99 Ellie. Man. I wish the Cardinals had somebody like Adolis Garcia. To be fair though, I, I kind of wish the Cardinals had some better pitching. You know, somebody like Zach Gallen. 
or Sandy Alcantara from last year, especially. Uh, I'm not really sure how he's doing this year. I thought he started off struggling, but let's get back into Twin's mind a little bit. So the streak, I don't know when I want it to stop. I kind of wanted to go like in my head to, to the Iron Man streak of Cal Ripken Jr. Match that number. And if it is high 2000s, if it's 28 something, at that point I'm sitting there. Okay, I might as well get myself to 3,000 days. It's not that far away. We've come this far. Might as well keep going. And if I get to 3,000 days, then I'm sitting here in my brain thinking ahead. Okay, well, if I'm at 3,000, I might as well try to get to 3,650 for 10 years in a row. And at that point, though, it's like, that's 10 years, man. Like, that's 2027. Oh, my God. That, like, it, that just seems like it should be further away than it is. I know it's still a few years away, but... Time just, the older you get, time just gets faster and faster and faster, man. Time is the most valuable thing that we have in this life, in my opinion. And the fact that y'all are spending your time here with me, like, I appreciate it more than y'all know. The fact that y'all continue to show up for the daily videos and spend your precious time with me with these videos. Like, I appreciate that more than y'all know. And seriously, thank you. I really do love y'all. I appreciate y'all the support every single day. For real, thank you. And... I don't think I would be able to keep this streak going if it wasn't knowing that y'all were out there watching and supporting and showing love every single day. So if it weren't for you, this streak probably wouldn't even be going still. And back to the streak. I don't know when I want it to end, but right now I feel like the this, this streak of daily uploading has me in a chokehold. With that being said, I'm not necessarily working every day. Like YouTube is my full-time job and, and, and everything like that, but... Just because I'm uploading a video per day doesn't mean I have to do that video on that day things like that Like if I want to take a vacation take a few days off I can do that whenever I want I just got to make sure I have a video ready to go and be uploaded at least once per day and, and we keep the streak going So, you know, I, it's not like I have not had any free time Over the past 2239 days. I know some people always end up thinking that but we got another diamond it's Marcus Semyon. I didn't mean to quick flip it, but at least we didn't have to see the purple lights and, and, and be sad. Even though we're still sad that it's a purple diamond, but we still have six chase packs to open and get some non-purple diamonds. But basically, I feel like the, the daily upload streak has me in a chokehold right now. I feel like I can't necessarily make the content that I want to, the videos that I want to, because those would take more than a day to do and it's like okay well i can still keep the streak going and, and work on bigger videos on the side but I, I i've been starting to procrastinate the videos put in putting the videos off things like that waiting until the last minute i'm sure y'all have noticed the videos going up sometimes later in the day and i don't want to end the streak because if i do that i'm afraid i would just abandon the channel i would just like be sad that I ended the streak and just I, I, I'm not I'm not gonna give up like that's not what I'm saying but that's what I'm afraid would happen I know I want to do that but part of me feels like I need to keep the streak going for the sake of my content creation career like the streak is the only thing right now that I feel like is holding it together and I don't like that man like I don't want to feel like I am in a chokehold of this daily upload streak and, and I don't know how long I felt like that it's like I for the longest time man for the last how many years has it been June 1st 2017 six years six plus years like there's been a lot of times where I have felt the way of hey like these aren't necessarily the videos I want to be making but they're just the videos that I'm able to do to keep the streak going and I want to start doing more of what I want to do versus what is just the way to keep the streak going but i still want to keep the streak going i don't want to lose the streak either i think i need to do like a q a video every now and then where i can just sit here and talk and answer questions that y'all have or something because hey maybe someone asks like how long do you think you're going to keep the streak going i could do that in a q a and talk about it for as long as i wanted and just focus on talking about that and my thoughts about that rather than trying to do it while i'm sitting here opening packs we have this scouting report pack one in 50 odds for a diamond we've gotten a little bit lucky already today maybe we could get lucky here and hey we got a 2500 stub glove i'll take that we got this diamond duos and a big part of me right now really wants to be streaming instead of doing youtube 
But like I said, I want to keep this daily upload streak going. So I really need to figure out the best way for me to get my videos recorded on stream. But I also in the past just haven't been the biggest fan of doing that either. And to finish off this pack opening, we have six of the pack five for the chase packs. Chance to find this 99 Ellie De La Cruz 550,000 stub card. Let's get a little bit lucky today. Let's see some gold lights popping up. We're starting with the purple. That is A-OK. -okay. We still got five of these to go. Three from the 350 bundles that we bought. And then three extra from the standard packs from those 50 bundles. So I guess they were still technically from the 50 bundles. But they weren't guaranteed. Wow, I wish the Cardinals had a pitcher like Zach Gallen. And I'm just realizing I sold my duplicates in a video recently i think this is my first pack opening since doing that and i was kind of planning on oh wait these are some these are some different colored lights we're not seeing purple anymore he's got to be worth stubs right aaron judge is one of the best players if not the best player besides shohei otani obviously like best just position player in the mlb he's got to be worth some stubs 90,000 okay wait a minute that's not bad from a chase pack I, I could get about 90,000 from them I will 100% take that there's a duplicate to sell and I was kind of planning on all my pack openings trying to sell the duplicates every pack so I didn't let them get so backed up like we did last time but that ship has already sailed but hey man anything but purple lights okay <laughs> well we were actually no 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 not anything but purple likes no 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 gold lights or nothing show me actually i mean i'll take another aaron judge instead of somebody like Corey seager we got three packs to go these are the ones that we paid for these are the guaranteed ones so let's see some gold lights okay mm nope nope i don't want to see purple we have two chase packs to go i've seen enough purple today i'm tired of it this is not barney the dinosaur none of that we're done seeing purple we're done seeing the 3,750 quick sell diamonds. All right, we're just going to have to get lucky on the last one. The last chase pack of the day is going to be where we're going to have to see 99 Ellie De La Cruz popping up. At least we've gotten some variety in our diamonds today. I'm not sure if we've had a duplicate. I'm not going to sell them for 640 stubs. If y'all enjoy the pack openings, drop a like. Subscribe for daily uploads on the channel. At some point, a video might pop up on screen. If you enjoyed this one, you might enjoy that one. MLB gods, please let me see gold lights on this final chase pack. And they're purple lights, man. And there is a duplicate diamond. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.